Okay, we all up? We up, up, up? Ready to go? Ready to go? Okay, here we are. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Recipe of the Day. It is Saturday and we have a very special guest here today. We have Kathy Hagman here today to help us celebrate a very special day. It is her husband's birthday today, so we actually have two crew back there. Today we are roving five camera shoot today. So we have some fun recipes on the docket. In honor of the birthday, we are gonna do some 60s throwback recipes. Kathy has a family favorite, one of Dean's favorite um, recipes we're gonna make for his birthday. And then I am gonna make some throwback stuffed mushrooms um, in honor of the throwback birthday. So welcome, let's get started welcome. here. Go ahead, I'll get you pulled up. Up here, you go ahead and get started. Tell them what you're gonna make. Okay, so I'm making chicken Merlot today for my husband's birthday. Now, Dean made this. Dean, you wanna come on over here for just a second, birthday boy, and say hey? <laughs> put, put, his, put his his camera down. Hold here on. he comes. Here he comes, here's hey. birthday boy. Woo, Six woo. years old today. Looking good. So he <laughs> made this for some men at a retreat one year, several years back, and they absolutely loved it. So when I asked him what he wanted for his birthday, he said, I want chicken merlot. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to get started here. Now, a cool trick with this one is, is I don't have a meat mallet. So I put my chicken already seasoned, I just put salt and pepper on it, into a bag, and then I just have to move like this. It's that easy. See that? COVID cooking, you use what you got. No meat mallet, doesn't slow us down. Grab a can of beans. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Use what you got. <laughs> we just use what we got. Hey, I turn Aaron. it over. That's Aaron Siler. How are hey, you, Aaron? And my sister's there. Hey, woo -woo. Woo -woo. welcome. Hey. Okay, and then when I'm finished with that, and what kind of chicken? Are you using breast peasy. or thighs? You know, I like breast meat. On the recipe, it actually calls for thighs or legs, but I like breast meat, so that's what I use. And they even call for skin on the uh, actual recipe, but I don't. It's not my thing, so I use what I like. Yep. Here yep. I go. I'm going to take this over the stove. Put it on there. I pan right here. Okay, you guys, I want you to comment and like and give me hearts so I know you're there on my Facebook people and my Instagram grammars. You're too little, I can't read your comments, but we love your comments, so give us some likes. Hey, Susan, how are you? We are making some hey. yummy things today. So, well, Kathy's getting her um, chicken going there in, in the pan. I'm going to get started on my filling here, and I'm using my little helper here, I know my Instagram, Instagram, you can't quite see, but I have my Cuisinart here, and I'm going to um, get started here and throw my ingredients in, I didn't separate out all my bowls here, we didn't have enough room, so into my Cuisinart here, I'm going to throw in half of a red pepper, half of a yellow pepper, half of a white onion, uh, four cloves of garlic, oh. And then one, about it's one so and a half um, uh, stalks of celery is going in here. I'm going to grind it up because we're making stuffing for the mushrooms, so we want it to be ground up. And I could chop this, but I'm not. Looks amazing. <laughs> so we're going to start and chop that up. So hold on, plug your ears. Here we go. I don't, oh, whoops, off. Oh I don't want to make it too, um, too soupy because we want to yes. know we got veggies going on there. So I'm going to take this mix and I'm going to throw it in my pan and let it start sauteing. Nice. So my pan is on also here. So you get it going here. How pretty that is. So pretty. I love These the are colors. Those are like fall colors. Yeah, we're, all, we're almost there. We are almost there. Oh my we're gosh. getting ready. How many of you like pumpkin spice for fall? I love it. Yes. Just love it. Okay, I'm going to flip my chicken over. Okay. Put my blade back in. Because the next thing I'm going to chop in here, I have all the stems from the mushrooms. You can see I've got my mushrooms. We washed them and then we took the stems out. Nice. And then I've got the stems in here. So I'm going to grind up the stems to add to our stuffing. So stems are going in. And then we will grind those up. 
the Queen Star really does make this very easy. <laughs> Done. Yes. So nice. So in to our pan. I'm going to stick those. I'm going to let these cook a little bit. Okay. So that is the this mixture is the of bell peppers, onion, garlic, the peppers. Yeah. And the garlic. And not the mushrooms. Yep. And yeah. then the mushrooms. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, if you could only see this, it looks amazing. Oh, and it smells so good. I didn't even yes. think about that. I used um, red pepper and yellow because that's what I had. So pretty. Um, and it just turned out pretty. So in goes the, the mushroom stems. And we will get that going there. Beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, want me to put that in the sink? Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. I'm done with that. Okay. And then I have some spinach here. I have a box of frozen spinach that I have thawed out and squeezed out a couple times to try and get the water out. So I've got to tell you, when I was a little girl, I didn't eat much at all. But spinach, I don't know why, I love spinach. To well, this day, it's the Popeye in you. Yeah. <laughs> Make her big I star. am what I am. <laughs> and that's all that I am. Hey, Kathy, they want, to, they want to know what's in the pan with the chicken. Thank you. It is, I'm sorry, I just used uh, three tablespoons, I believe it is, of olive oil in the pan with the chicken. And I already used uh, some salt and pepper on the chicken before I fried it. I actually have some what's called Santa Maria seasoning. I'm not sure if you would like it, but I love it. My family has used it for years. We get it at Costco. It's amazing. Santa Maria seasoning. Okay, I'm touting that right now. You would love it. So the chicken is just next. about done. Are we ready? Yeah, will you put awesome. it in there? So I'm going to put this chicken into a little pan. She's got it ground a little bit on each side. It's ground on each side a little. And then I'll bring it over here. Hey, Florence, how are you? Welcome. Hey, Florence. We're having fun in the kitchen. Hey, here we go. See? So, here we go. So the next thing I'm doing is I put the pearl onions in here. See these right here? I charred them just a bit um, on the stove to just give them a little bit of sweetness. It kind of brings out the flavor and it makes it pop when you char it, okay? So put the pearl onions in there. And then next I have minced garlic and butter. I have that both together. It's a couple of tablespoons of butter, but I add more butter because I like the richness of the flavor of that butter. So I actually add more butter to it. And that, and let me get my spoon out and get a little of this garlic going in there. And the next thing I put in there is some carrots. Yeah, she See has that? all nicely chopped. See that? I love when I have a guest and they bring everything all chopped. I chopped the carrots already, <laughs> that's right. Yep. Yes, and my man helped me with all of this, by the way. On his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> bay leaves. This is a secret, like, surprise ingredient. You should use bay leaves in all of your soups, all of your stews, everything. You will love it. Just fresh bay leaves. They really add a great pop to whatever you're making. And then I mixed the parsley and the thyme together, and I'm putting that in there right now. How much of each? Um, let's see. For parsley, just a handful of parsley, and then uh, five sprigs of thyme that I put in there. We chopped the thyme. Um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that or not, but that's what we did. Well, and the trick on um, herbs like that that I've shown on the, on the show before is you yes. take your colander and take the thyme or the tarragon and stick it through the hole and pull it through. And the leaves, it's the easiest way to de-leaf those kind of rosemary, thyme, oh my gosh, tarragon. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, from now on, that's Thank what you, I'm Facebook. doing. But it works great because we tried it on the show. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I add to it then is I have got two cups of Merlot, and I actually put a little of tomato, um, crushed tomato in with it. I, we just have to like that. You can or you don't have to add it, but we added it, okay? Last but not least, chicken stock. We're braising this in the oven for a couple of hours. So you put that chicken stock in there and see that? You set this all into the oven. You ready for this? Uh -huh. Thank you, Lisa. Do, 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 do. Woo, woo, woo. And we're going to set it in there for a little bit. Yep. 
Yep, set in there for a minute. We'll wait we on it. Up. Yep. So it's it, actually a couple hours cooking time, but we're doing a fast track. We have the today. magic of TV. <laughs> yes, we do. So in our veggies here, we have all our veggies in here. I threw the spinach in and the mushroom stems are crushed up in, oh, it in looks there. Amazing. I am putting um, a pound of browned J uh, Jimmy Dean hot, that is our favorite around here, and that I um, browned it up while we were waiting for you guys. I'm going to throw that in there. Oh my gosh, and I drained it, you can see. I yes, love you know. sausage. I know. I just love it's sausage. so good. Amazing. And Jimmy Dean, I mean, oh, seriously, yes. like, it's Gary's very favorite thing. Very so cool. we have that stuffing then. Oh, it looks so good. Lisa, you oh should gosh. show that today. Okay. Okay. Just right here in the skillet. I just okay. turned that side. Show that right. That's I'm going to pull over here. Hold on a second. Oh. We're going to stuff these. So I'm going to pull the whole thing over here. It's heavy. I'm going to you want me to do here? Okay. okay. Here we go. There we go. Check that oh, out. Look for at the that. color of that. I mean, we've got our it fall colors and the spinach and the sausage. They're going to be so wonderful. pretty. So I am. Um, Beautiful. It's hot. I let it cool a little bit before I do all these because we have a bunch more of the scoop. We need okay. The scoop, please. Sure. And we will. Here's our mushrooms. We've washed a bunch, but we. Um, are just going to stuff a few of these here. Now I um, would cool this off a little bit and then add some Parmesan, which I will add in a minute, but right now it's too hot because it'll just melt. But then I have a secret I'm going to add when this cools Ooh. off a little bit. Some borsin cheese, oh, yes, yes. the garlic, because some of the recipes, Amazing. I read so many re uh, recipes for this and a bunch of them called for cream cheese. And I'm like, well, that's kind of just going to be good. I mean, what's not good with cream cheese, right? But I thought, what if we tried this, the garlic so cheese, delicious. instead of the cream cheese, and mix some in? So I'm going to try that Absolutely. on a few of these and make some with the cheese and some without the cheese. So we will have a taste test um, once we've cooked these. So I'm going to take my scoop just to make it easier here. And this is how I would stuff them and just put them in there. They're so cute. I love it. The mixer what? base, can you move oh, that? Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Drew wants me to move, move, move the tools here. We're doing it. Is that okay? Then you want the mushrooms up here? Okay. Okay, director. <laughs> we have the way he works. It out. Okay. So here, just going to stuff them and get them in there. Mostly because if I put the same amount of stuffing in these, they'll cook pretty evenly. So then we would take these once I get them all stuffed. And I'm going to let this cool a little bit so we can put some so cheese good. in them too. Um, could put them in the oven. We're going to cook them about, you know, 25 to 30 minutes or so until the mushroom is cooked and they all get nice and yummy and gooey. Because we will put cheese in some and then not in others. Now you could put breadcrumbs in here. Um, I don't, but you could. It would make it a little, make the... Um, uh, stu uh, stuffing stick together a little bit more if we had bre uh, breadcrumbs in it. Um, but you could do it. You could also use oatmeal um, if you have that. I like to use it. I grind it up a little bit if I'm going to use it for stuffing like this or for meatloaf. Um, but for these, that's just how we're going to stuff them today. They look amazing. They're going to be yummy. Oh. Yeah. Yes. And the yeah, mushrooms. Try these, those. Look at how beautiful these mushrooms are. I mean, the question here is, are those magic mushrooms? <laughs> Today we have a bunch of birthday shout outs, but where is my birthday shout out hat? I don't see it. I don't see it. Hold that thought. Uh -oh. Rex, Rex probably cleaned up the house. Uh oh. <laughs> my birthday shout out hat is MIA on a special birthday. We have a birthday boy here. Well, birthday shout out hat goes to Dean Hagman, hey. 60th birthday, cameraman, right here. And then it is also my aunt Anne's birthday today. It is a milestone birthday for her. So happy birthday to you, Anne. Happy my birthday, My mom was Anne Ward, and this is, you know, the other Anne Ward, but now she's the only Anne Ward. So happy birthday to my aunt Anne. Happy birthday. And hope you're having fun today. Um, and then Paula Miller, it's your birthday today, too. So happy birthday happy to you, birthday, girl. Happy birthday, Paula. Um, and then we have two tomorrow. Todd Marks, happy birthday to you. And Doug Re uh, Reynolds, who are both. Uh, realtors and other Todd in Beverly Hills and Doug in Sacramento. So if you need realtors, they're Happy in those birthday. markets. 
And then another special birthday before our show on Wednesday is Greg Eller. Happy birthday to you, sir. Haven't seen you in all of this cr uh, crazy, but we'll have to get a birthday celebration on the calendar for you. And in honor of our special birthday today, we have our giveaway today. If you have liked or commented on these videos on Facebook, um, you are in my fish here. Nice. Hold on, we'll get the fish over here for Kathy. So and our giveaway today are these cute happy birthday little treat bags. So for your next birthday celebration, I thought it was fun and a good Very appropriate cute. thing. Since everyone wants to have their treats individually wrapped these days. <laughs> That's our little happy birthday get, cool. giveaway for t today. So let's see who is our lucky winner for today. Do, 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 do. Shannon Kimbrough, you are the winner woo, woo, woo. today. Go Shannon, go Shannon. She has three darling baby boys, so she will get good use out of that gift. All right. And then our other winner today is Stephanie Lynn, woo, your winner woo. today. Stephanie's one of the awesome trainers in town. She is, you need a workout, um, body by staff. You need to vi uh, visit her and see her. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, there's only two things you can control. Can my, um, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to show you. One more thing. The magic of TV. Woo. We're going to show you Kathy's delicious dish. Now, she is going to serve this over buttered no uh, no uh, noodles. Yes, I It's her plan. You can serve it over rice. Yes. You can serve it over cauliflower rice. But... We're going to serve Here it over noodles. Dish. So All look how there. beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, it looks so, so good. good. The chicken is all so moist nice. from you will cooking love it. for a couple of like hours. Like I said, a little bit of extra butter in there makes it much richer. Because, I mean, what's not good with more butter, right? Hello. Yum! Yes. yes, yes. So remember, the only two things you can control are your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And thank you for watching. You can visit us um, at Ventura Real Estate on YouTube. Please subscribe. We're almost to 1,000. And I will put the recipe here on Facebook. We will put it on uh, YouTube also. Best real estate agents in Ventura <laughs> County. And if Hello? you need to buy or sell a home, we are here. GaryandLisa.com, your yes. real estate edge. Thanks for watching. You we love, love it. them. We love it when you're here. If you're watching the replay, please hashtag replay. And we will see you on Wednesday. Wednesdays and Saturdays live at 3 o'clock. Thanks for watching. And thank you to my special mm -hmm. guest, Kathy. Mm -hmm. And happy birthday to Dean today. Thanks and for having us. We will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.